Welcome back to my channel. I'm Gerard, Witch of Earth's Curious Goods here on YouTube, and today I decided that I'm going to show you how to do an egg cleanse. Um, I'm pretty sure you probably have come across it, um, and if you haven't, um, well, here you go. Um, so if this sounds interesting to you, keep on watching, and without further ado, let's begin. Now, let's start off with what is an egg cleanse. Well, you're going to need an egg and some water. Super simple, right? But the purpose of an egg cleanse is A, to gather up the energy that's either attached to you or what's considered an auric field. Um, maybe there's a spell that is attached to you, um, unknowingly casted on you, or from yourself. Um, a lot of people will look externally on what's going on with their life um, when sometimes, um, more than not, at least um, a lot of people that I've come across, um, it's their own doing. Um, it's their thoughts, their, their, it's their emotions, it's the trauma that they've gone through, it's the experiences. Um, and that is some powerful magic on its own, okay? That's powerful energy that sometimes can attach to um, its user or its person or um, the witch, the spiritualist. Um, it can attach to you. And what this egg cleanse, the purpose of it is to try to cleanse all of that energy, um, but also to give you some insight. So. Um, for those of you that want to take the egg cleanse to the next level, um, I'll just show you some basic things on like what to look for um, after the cleanse. Um, but I would recommend doing an egg cleanse, um, you know, a daily. So like for me, I like to do it monthly um, only because I'm in the view of videos. Um, so I'm in the public eye, I'm on social media, I am bombarded with a lot of energies and I come across a lot of energies. So I would recommend at minimum to do some sort of cleansing at least once a month um, and an egg cleanse can be an option. Now, you're, uh, with the container that you're using with the water, um, I would recommend using distilled water, holy water, um, water that is very purified. Um, if you can't get a hold of those and you can only use tap water, make the magic your own. I would recommend cleansing the water in the container using um, Palo Santo. Um, cedar is also a good option. Some people will use sage. Um, you know, it's, it's whatever you want to use for cleansing. I tend to use Palo Santo or if um, anything, bay leaves as well. That's a good cleansing property too. Um, there's also frankincense. Frankincense is a big one for me as well that I'll use to cleanse this. Um, so whatever works for you, whatever resonates for you, I would recommend cleansing the water, the container, and the egg that you're using. Because that egg, of course, has passed through maybe some hands, machines, some places. Um, so unless you yourself um, got the egg from the chicken, then I would recommend cleansing the egg as well. Because you want to start off from scratch, a blank slate. Okay? Super, super simple. You're gonna put attention into the egg, right? You're just going to imagine that the egg is a magnet, okay? And it attracts energy. It's going to attract the energy off of you, okay? Super simple. All you're going to do is now rub it across uh, your body, onto your skin, right? Imagine that that magnet is, or visualize, imagine it that it's just getting all that energy. Okay, I like it touching my skin. Um, so um, if you want to go fully naked, um, that's also great as well. If you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. Energy um, doesn't need, uh, you can go right through your clothes as well. <laughs> um, but uh, using the egg, you're just gonna run it across your whole body, right? Your neck, your head, your forehead, okay? Imagine that it is a magnet and it is just, just getting all that energy off of you. For me, I personally like to um, recite in my mind over and over, or you can even do it out loud. You are cleansing all energies off of me. 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 Okay? See that it is like a magnet. All of it is just being absorbed into the egg. Okay? So simple, right? That's it. Now, 
some spiritualists and witches will also add um, salt to the water. Um, for me, um, if I'm especially for me, I like to use holy water. Um, I don't find it necessary to use salt. Um, but if you don't have your, um, you can't get your hands on holy water, then use salt. Okay. All you're going to do now is crack the egg and let it go into the water. That's it. So that's the cleansing. The water will now contain the energy. You're going to want to um, dump this out away from you, away from your property. You're going to want to flush it down the toilet. Um, make sure that the septic tank that it is um, attached to is not under your house or something of that nature. Okay. And now for those of you that want to divine or see, you're just going to read the egg now. So for me, I don't see any spiky stuff. I don't see anything around my egg. I don't see anything that is dark or red or black. I don't see dots everywhere. Or you see dark spots or you see spikes going on. That should draw some attention to you, right? That means that we're going to need some heavy cleansing going on, okay? Um, and there's a lot more to um, divining um, egg cleanses. Um, this is just some, some basic things to look for, but use your intuition. If you're not sure, then of course you're going to want to divine even further. Use tarot cards, runes, whatever you use to do divination. I mean to worry about as far as my cleanse goes. Um, but if I was to see blood, dark spots the egg is just smushed and, and separating and just weird stuff stuff that you just know looks kind of ominous you might want to take it a little further right you're going to want to cleanse more you're going to want to shield up there's so many other things you can do but um for the egg cleanse that's all also containing some of that energy off of you so that's why you're going to want to get rid of that water away from you as well okay so every bit counts an egg cleanse is just part of now, part of the tool set um, that now you'll have. Um, I would recommend using it at least once a month, um, especially if you're like me and you're in the view of the public or on social media a lot or exposed to a lot of different energies. I would recommend doing the egg cleanse um, at least once a month. Um, you can, of course, increase it, but with the price of eggs, <laughs> you may not want to increase it as much. That's breakfast food. <laughs> Um, but, um, yes, for the sake of cleansing energy, you might want to do it. <laughs> well, I hope you found today's spell interesting. I know that this is a spell that, um, I highly recommend doing. Um, an egg cleanse is super, super awesome. Um, I have found it very beneficial. Um, there are many other ways to cleanse, of course. This is just one of many. And this method is also just one of many. Divining is also one of many ways to do it. I just wanted to show you something really simple. Um, simple, um, easy to use. Most people have access to eggs. Um, so that's a cleanse that you can do, right? Get all that energy attracted to the egg, contain it, put it into this water. Um, holy water or salt if you can. Um, if you have hyssop, you can put some hyssop in there and make it very holy and divine. Um, and then flush it down the toilet or um, make sure to bury this far away from yourself. Of course, being cognizant of the wildlife and your environment, of course, as always. So till next time, stay earthy, stay magical, and don't forget to love yourself and others. Oh, and comment down below if you're going to do this egg cleanse. I would love to see how your egg um, cleanses are coming along. What did you see? Um, did it come in handy? Did you feel a difference? Always like to know. So, till next time. Bye for now.